Welcome back to the Penny Loafer Bomb Squad. Lucas here. I am going to be doing a little tutorial, uh, kind of a little showcase of Red Power 2's saws and uh, different ways you can apply them. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty more than I'm going to show, but I'm just going to do a little overview. All right, uh, over here in this chest, I have some basic supplies. Um, what you're going to need to start off with is sticks and iron are the most basic thing. And how you do that is three sticks on the top, and then the four pieces of iron, and then pow, you got your little handsaw. Um, and then we also have uh, emerald rubies and sapphires you can do this with too. Uh, they're not as strong as a diamond one, but they're, they're set up just the same way. So you're near different hand saws. Um, each hand saw will cut different things. Um, for example, the iron hand saw here will cut these type of bricks, blocks, uh, bookshelves, whatnot, uh, wool, you know, pretty basic things. A lot of what you'll need it for is, um, I'd say, like wood and wool to get some more detail out of that. I use mine a lot uh, with ruby, sapphire, or emerald hand saws uh, because I mainly cut up stone and glass. I'll demonstrate that. It's the same principle. I'll use a nice ruby one here. You have to place it in the crafting area. Um, you can also do this on your own personal being in their own little crafting area. Pretty good. Uh, if, for example, if you try to use a iron hand saw on this, you know, it's not going to cut it. Swap that out. Throw the diamond in there. The diamond will cut anything. Ruby one cuts most things. So with that said, uh, so here's the little interface you get when you queue up one of your little bricks here. Um, pretty easy to use. It shows you each corner that you can apply it in or in the middle. That'll lay flat. So you can do, you can do things like that. Which is really nifty. Now, the problem you get is, let's say you want to fill that in. Well, what you can do is take your little saw and go over it again. And you can cut it down into panels, or if you move it off to the side, you can cut it into slabs, little strips. I use half blocks and slab strips, mainly. Um, you just get right in there, fills it in nice. And you can walk on this. Is, this is another way you can make different color wooden stairs. For example, this one's this one plank here you can't make into the same color stair. So what you can do is take half of it and do this. Place it like that and like that. There you go. You just cheated your little stair in. You don't need the newer version of Minecraft. Um, here's a couple different examples of things I've made. Uh, they're not beautiful by any means, but they're quick. Um, this is nice because, I don't know, aesthetics reasons, if you have like an evil lair or a dungeon or something you want to make, uh, obviously water works in that too, you won't get burnt or anything, or if you wanted to use that as like a drop hole, you can just take that out and add some more detail to pipelines and whatnot. Um, I took some wood, some basic wood plank or some wood uh, source blocks, like such. And I just sawed these up. It keeps the texture all the way around, which is nice. And then uh, what you need to do to get it to place in the middle like that, is you need to take your little slab strips, put them in there, and then it turns into a wood pillar. And that's what allows you to place it in the middle. And that's the only way you can do that. Um, they're pretty nifty for like uh, canopies and whatnot. Um, 
to get these little tiny strips like that, what you need to do is, I'll just use the iron one, you cut it down, and if you cut it down again, you get an iron panel. Iron panels are pretty cool. Um, they add a little bit more depth to your projects. That's all they do. Pretty simple. Uh, if you need, want them cut down even more into those strips, you take your hands out, make sure it's in the panel uh, sizing, and then over here you have this, the panel strips. So just like how just how these strips, these slab strips worked out, just a little bit smaller. And then you'll notice here you can't stand them upright. You can do this, you can make your little detail pieces like that, but you can't stand them upright. What you need to do is you need to go up to a block or place a block, and then you can place it on the side. And then you can get rid of the, the object later and they'll stay standing. Pretty nifty. Um, and then we have covers. So what you need to do with that is you bring it down the plank panels and then you bring it down to the plank covers. Um, this is used for, like let's say you wanted to build a big swinging door with some of the other um, red power uh, machines. Well you'd need this to put on the end so it didn't attach to other blocks. Um, I like to use these to just cover up wiring and whatnot. Um, that's pretty much it for that. You can cut these down into strips. So you can get a little bit more detailing out of your projects. You can't place them in the middle pieces. Um, kind of a bummer on that, but you know, you can make nice little ledges and whatnot. And these can be cut even further down into corners. These pieces right here can also be cut into corners. So you get things like that. These are good for like rooftops and whatnot. Making those little lips. These little pieces, they're mainly for sealing up the edges. So you can do some more detail work with that too. Uh, another thing is these things can be combined back into the original shapes. You just have to put them next to each other. And that's with any of them. You know, if you cut it down, if you cut it down into that, you can combine it back up. So you can always, you can always redo your block if that's not what you wanted. But, these blades do get worn out over time, so if you're doing a lot of uh, cutting for your projects, like I do on mine over here, you are going to end up using up those blades. Oh, what else am I missing here? There's uh, there's some of those corner blocks again. There, there's really no point in them. It's more for the aesthetics. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. If there's any questions or comments, uh, feel free to do that in the comments section below. Uh, if I'm missing anything, please comment down there too. Keep people informed. It can be pretty fun, but it can it can be pretty time consuming too. I spent a lot of time doing that. And it's not really water friendly either. So that's another another thing you can do with that. Oh, now I remember what I was supposed to show you. I'll have to cut up a new block. How it affects redstone. Let's see. Since this is a diamond block, I have to use a diamond saw. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these down to covers. And then, yeah, I'll just leave my covers. That'll just be easier to look at. So I'm gonna grab, grab some of this here. So now you'll notice, you do that, it makes a loop. Well, what if you wanted to make two power strips separate? What you can do is grab these panels and notice how it kind of cuts off. If you place it, it keeps the power sources separated. So now you, you won't have that issue. Um, 
but let's get this back. Let's say you wanted to do redstone. Well, it won't let you place redstone in the same block. So effectively, this doesn't work for regular redstone. So got to keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> these red alloy wires, I I believe, is way better than regular old redstone anyway. So I really don't use regular redstone anymore. Um, but So that's a nifty feature. So you can cover these redstone wires in walls. You can hide them away. Uh, another side note to these little silicone bools. You can cut these too. It's um, it's used for crafting different things. So, yeah, you can cut those down into wafers. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab some piping here. I didn't keep any on hand. Um, you know, I have a hard time navigating through this stuff. Usually, I just craft my things. Ah, here we go. So let's say I'll grab a whole bunch of that. Let's say you wanted to bury some of that in a wall. I'll grab a I'll grab a nice wall. I think I can cut those. Nope. Get rid of that. Say you just wanted to build it right behind stone. So you have your nice stone wall. But you're gonna have this wiring that's gonna be coming right or this piping that's gonna be coming right down the middle. Well that's kinda unsightly. Well, we can cover that up. Grab some of these, grab some of these. What you can do. Oops. Well, that's one way of doing it. You know. Depending on how you design things, that might be what you want. Or you can cut it down even further to these little panels. Makes it a little bit thinner. Um, you know, same with on the floor. Brings it up a little bit, but it works. Oops. And that'll happen too. That'll happen a lot, actually. You want to keep a pickaxe or uh, any other tool to remove that on you. Uh, the material properties doesn't change. So... You need a pickaxe to take that down. You need, you know, um, an axe to take that down. Shovel for sand, blah, blah, blah. Pretty simple. You can't place things on these type of blocks. It has to be a full block. Same with picture frames and whatnot, all that stuff. But that pretty much covers it. Uh, but like, yeah, like what I said, comments below. Um, like if you want to see more of these videos, or comment if you have any input. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you next time. Bye!